Hello guys, welcome to a wise tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you on how to design an online shopping flyer in Oral Draw. So let's begin. So to design any flyer, you need to know the page size you're working on. So now my page size here is in letter and I need to change it to A5 because it's an A5 design. Then the first step I'm going to take is to double click on my rectangle tool to add a page frame here. This shape I've added here is called a page frame. Then I'm going to right click on this blank space, take off the outline. Then I'm going to give it a white color right here. So now after that, I'm going to click on my polygon tool. As you can see, the size here uh, six here. So I'm going to draw. I'm going to hold down control to make all size equal while drawing the polygon. As you can see, so I draw it like this. I'm going to bring it right here. Reduce it a little bit. I'm going to bring it right here. I'm going to move it. Then right click on it to duplicate it. I'm going to move it right here. Right click to duplicate it. I'm going to move it right here. Right click to duplicate it. I'm going to move it right here. Right click to duplicate it. I'm going to move this right here also. I'm going to right click. I'm going to reduce this one just like this. I'm going to bring it right here. I'm going to bring it again. Then duplicate it. I'm going to increase this one. So after that, I'm going to bring this right here. I'm going to right click to duplicate it. Then I'm going to reduce it. I'm going to repeat the same step. I'm also going to duplicate it. Then press shift F4 to zoom everything back to the page. So after that, I'm going to bring this right here. Right click to duplicate it. I'm going to increase it. And after that, as you can see, these are the polygon I'll be using for the design. So all I need to do is to highlight everything and pack it into the page frame. So I'll now be continuing the editing into the end in the pack clip. So after that, I want to highlight everything. And I want to move it to this side. Then move it. Sorry, that's highlighted the background. So all I need to do is to select it with my shift. So I will shift while selecting it. Then I'm going to pack clip it. I'll move it to my right click. Then move it towards the this screen then choose the power clip inside option as you can see it has power clip into it so the next step is to edit content by holding my control key on my keyboard then i'm going to click on it as you can see now i'm going to edit i'm going to do all the necessary editing right here so just like this and this also we should improve it again and this also so this so now so after that i'm going to give this this polygon i've drawn into the shape a color so i'll be working with this color this baby blue color right here sorry this upper one right here and this upper one and this upper one so after that i'm going to give this baby blue this baby blue and this baby blue and this also baby blue and these two baby brown, same color and this also same color so after that i need to make some editing right here by holding my shift down my shift key i'm going to write i mean reduce it like this and i'm going to double click i mean right click on it to duplicate it so i'm going to repeat the same step to this just like this sorry so after that i'm going to click on my interactive field right here to give it a linear color to so drag this like this i'm going to give it this and the middle right here i'm going to give it this color just like this and i'm going to reduce it like this and duplicate it and alight it then press ctrl l or click on this to combine it just like this, as you can see how it is. I'm going to right click, pick up the outside, then press it. Therefore, zoom everything back to page. So, after that, I'm going to repeat the same step right here. I'm going to zoom it, I'm going to reduce it, then right click on it. Then, I'm going to give it this color by holding my letter G on my keyboard, then click on this copy free properties to copy this color during this. So, after that, I'm going to give the outline two points. And I'm going to give it a white outline by right clicking on this white right here. So it seems the outline is not good enough. So just like this. So I'm going to highlight it. Like 
this and I'm going to reduce it a little bit sorry it's only really highlighted then I'm going to reduce it I'm going to bring it right here and push it to the same thing back to the page and this also all I need is this shape right here so I will not stress myself I'll just all I need to do is to align this right here I press Ctrl G and bring it down here. I'm going to reduce it a little bit. Yes, I'm going to align it. Press Ctrl G. I'm going to take it up a little bit. Then zoom on this. Then reduce the outline to two points, just like this. I'm going to group it. Like it's right here. I press Ctrl G, just like that. So it's okay like this. So the next step I'm going to do is to click my rectangle to draw a little rectangle just like this I'm going to click on the middle to bring out the selection I'm going to and then reduce it, I mean to rotate it like that so I need to rotate it a little bit I'm going to bring it up I'm going to give it a, a powder blue color just like this I'm going to press it effort to help it back to page so now after that all I need to do is to reduce, I need to remove all this outline of this shape right here. I'm going to press finish this in order to see how it looks like. So you guys can see. So the next step I'm going to do is to apply all these pictures into these two polygons so by moving the pictures with my right click and choose the pack clip inside. I'm going to edit content. I'm going to move this with my right click, sorry, to this here. Push back click inside and edit content and increase it just like this. So increase it a little bit. Zoom in so you can you need to increase it a little bit. Then press finish editing object. As you can see how it looks like. Then right click and stick up the outline. And this also right click stick up the outline. Then press shift F4. Then repeat the same step. To this and edit content and zoom it and increase it so and then press it F4 and click finish editing object then right click and stick up the outline and do the same step to this right click to stick up the outline so after that as you can see I need to remove this outline I mean sorry the outline and this also the outline and this the outline then and this also outline sorry and this the outline so then click finish editing order to see how it looks like as you can see how it looks like as you can see that everything is perfectly done so all I need to do is to make some adjustments on it right here so I'm going to bring this I need to align this and press ctrl G also I'm going to highlight so I'm going to align it and press Ctrl G. Then I'm going to bring it to this side a little bit. And this also a little bit. I'm going to increase this a little bit. Just like this. And press it F4 to zoom it back to pitch. Then I'm going to bring this to this side. Then I'll reduce the size. And bring this also. Then I'll reduce the size. I can now reduce the size. The impression is effort is melting back to page. So now after that, all I need to do is to click on my text to write here and type 50 percent of all in capital letter. And I'm going to give it this color right here. I'm going to bring it right here. I'm going to give it good, make it good. I'm going to increase it. Reduce it a little bit. Can I give it any color? Or well, better still, you can give it white color. Just like this. So, as you can see, it looks really cool. Just like this. So, after that, I'm going to click finish editing object to see how it looks like. So, after that, I'm going to click on my text tool. Then, type the title, I mean the name of the online shopping flyer, type which is Linda shop so in that shop and we're going to change 
then I'm going to change the font to add one script ITC and I'm going to increase it a little bit just like this then press ctrl k on my keyboard to break text apart and I can now bring this to the side I can now reduce it a little bit I can now reduce it so I'm going to give this page frame an outline so I can see the border of where I'm working on so I can zoom it a little bit and reduce the size and I'm going to give it this color on this because the leave yes so after that, I'm going to reduce this polygon, which is right here. I'm going to bring it to this side. Then click Finish Editing Objects. So now I'm going to bring this shop and reduce the font size, just like this. Then bring it to this side. I'm going to give the outline area, I mean the font family area. I'm going to reduce the size to 11 and click on Boot. I'm going to bring it to the side. I'm going to give you this color. And press it F for the zoom thing back to page. As can see, I can now increase this a little bit. Press Ctrl G to group it. So after that, I'm going to type in the details of the of the flyer. It is mega mega C. I'm going to give this this color. And press Ctrl G. Bring it to this side so I hold shift and click the empress with a C and give this a light color. Then I light it and press Ctrl G. And I'm going to bring this to this side. Then I can now increase the outline so to this side. Then I'm going to bring this details are voting here. Just like this. I'm going to increase it. So I've written these details already. I'm going to go shift and press on this and click on letter L to align everything to the left. So as you can see, I'm going to click on my text then type for inquiries. For inquiries. Call. So just like this. Then I'm going to type in the number 456789. So we need to bring it to this side. If we zoom on it, you press Ctrl K to break text apart. I'm going to give this this color. I'm going to reduce the font size to this then click on board. I'm going to reduce the font size of this to this and bring it to this side and give it this color sorry and give it this color then click on B to hold it then hold shift and select this then press letter L like this then click on the text then click on the shift tool to increase the line spacing so, and this also press letter L then press shift F for zoom out back to page you can now zoom on this and light it and press Ctrl G and now increase it a little bit. So now you need to bring this shape right here to adjust it and hold shift and then and click on it. Then adjust it like this. Then bring this up. Then bring this down. You can now adjust this a little bit. Then click finish editing objects. I think that's okay. So the next step is to type in the services offered right here. And clicking on the text tool, then I'm going to type the like weeks and maybe what they are selling in their online shop. Weeks, bags, shoes, and clothes. Just like this. I'm going to give it this color right here. I'm going to bring it to the side. Just like I'm going to click on B to put it. And I'm going to double click on it, then press Shift, I mean Ctrl A, then press Shift F3, then click on the center scales to make it center scales just like this. And zoom on it. So all you need to do is just to click on your polygon tool and draw a little polygon and give it this color. Then highlight it and then right click to take up the outline. 
and bring it right here. And press Ctrl G and bring it right here. And press Ctrl G and G. You can now select the four polygon and press with C to arrange everything horizontally. Now zoom on it. You can now adjust it. Then select it and press with a C. Just like this. Then press Ctrl G to complete. Now hold this and click on this, then press letter A. Just like this. Now press Ctrl G to complete. Then press Shift L4 to zoom everything to page. So you can now zoom on it. It seems the polygon tool, I mean the polygon shape needs to be reduced a little bit. Just like this. Yeah. Now press Ctrl G to complete. Then as you can see everything has been done. We need some adjustments under the back of the good control and click on it. And this can now reduce this. And this can we reduce this. And bring it up here. And this. And this. And press Ctrl G. And use it. Bring this to the side. You click finish editing object to see what you've done. Move it to this side a little bit. So as you can see we are done with the flyer. So before you do anything, you can now remove the outline. So let's see how it looks like. As you can see we are done with the flyer and everything is done on this shopping flyer. So if you have any questions about what I've just done on this correct draw template, leave them down in the comment section and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.